Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing. And in today's video, I want to talk about something that not a lot of people know when they're starting out with Wix or Wix Studio. So I have two pricing pages open up here on my, uh, my browser, my window, my tabs. And this is the Wix Studio pricing right here. And there's five different plans. And this is the Wix Classic Editor pricing. And these are the different plans that they have available. And you can see if we kind of flip back and forth between these two tabs, the, the pricing for each level is different and what you have included is different. So let's just take a look at lights right here. That's $17 a month. And the one I want to highlight in particular is you get two gigabytes of storage space there with light. But if you go over to Wix Studio, uh, the basic plan over here is $19 a month. So this is $2 more and you get 10 gigabytes of media storage. And the reason I want to highlight these two differences is because Wix Studio and the Classic Editor are two separate platforms. So you don't get to uh, <laughs> build a site in the Classic Editor and then move it into Wix Studio and vice versa. You don't get to go from Wix Studio back down to Wix Editor. So if you have a website in Classic Editor, then you aren't going to be able to just upgrade it to Wix Studio. You'd have to rebuild the entire site brand new from scratch inside of Wix Studio. And it is a separate premium plan as we're looking at here. And the domain name connection and all of those things are different and separate between Wix Studio and Wix Classic Editor. So there's a lot of other differences between these two. If we were to go into a website, then I could show you the difference between Wix Editor and Wix Studio. So you can kind of see in which one you might be looking at. So I'm gonna pull up in another window here, and this is my Wix Studio workspace. And let me pull up in this website, the KDC Marketing website, just to show you an example. So it's opening right now, and right away, I can tell by this website that I am in the Wix editor, the classic Wix editor. And some of the tall tale signs that you're in the Wix editor, the classic Wix editor, is you only have two breakpoints right here. You have desktop and you have mobile. And a lot of the settings are different as well. A lot of where different things are found, a lot of the settings. And as you get into editing elements, it's all very different here inside of the classic Wix editor and what tools you have available and that kind of thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up a Wix Studio website. I'll open up this one here just to show you what it looks like so you can see the difference between Wix Studio and Wix editor. And right away as it's loading, I know I'm in Wix Studio because it's doing that cool animation there versus the Wix editor loading screen. Okay, so this is Wix Studio. So the editor is different. I have three breakpoints up here. I have desktop, tablet, and mobile. And so I have more breakpoints and um, my, the way I add elements and the different screens and everything is different. So there are, there are some similarities and some crossover between the classic Wix editor and Wix Studio. But again, it's very different than, um, than what I have inside of classic editor. You have layers panels um, that are different. You have this breadcrumbs bar that is different down here at the bottom. Uh, you have things that exist in Wix Studio like stacks that you don't have inside of classic editor where you can group together elements inside of a stack. And that's something that's exclusive to the to Wix Studio. And so it's important to know the differences between these two and kind of to further hit home this point, if I wanted to build KDC marketing, this website here on Wix Studio, there's no button inside of here that can transfer this over to Wix Studio automatically. There's no way for me to transfer over the content or the pages or any of that sort of thing. They're two separate editors, two separate builders. And so if I wanted to rebuild this website here on Wix Studio, I'd have to build a brand new website from scratch inside of Wix Studio and re-upload all the content and build out all the pages and reconnect the domain name and sign up for a premium plan and do all those things that I would have to do just as if it was a new website. And again, pricing is going to be different. What I get in those prices is going to be different. 
and what features I have available to me inside of the editor are going to be different than what I have inside of the classic Wix editor. And in the same token, there's no way to go from this Wix Studio editor back into the classic editor. So I can't take this website here that I have in Wix Studio and put it back into the classic editor and start editing, editing there. There's no way to export the content and import it and that sort of thing. So I think some people get confused on these two different website builders and you just have to think of them as completely separate. They share the same ecosystem, which is Wix. And a lot of things they share, which are things like the Wix apps and the uh, dashboard, the, the backend dashboard is really similar. So when I go to this dashboard, this is very similar between the two platforms, but the actual editor itself and the content of the website and all of those different things, the domain name, all of that stuff, they're separate. They're completely separate. So if you want to start upgrading your websites to Wix Studio and you have a bunch of them in Wix and the classic editor, you're going to have to rebuild all of those websites inside of Wix Studio. Or if you wanted to take a Wix Studio website and put it back into editor, you're going to have to rebuild it in the editor. So I just want to highlight that because not a lot of people know that going in and they start building in Wix Studio and they don't realize that it's going to be such a transformation from one to the other. And um, it's important to know because before you start down that path of transitioning to Wix Studio um, from the classic editor, you're going to have to reconnect all those things, reconnect the business email, reconnect the domain name, sign up for a premium plan, all inside of Wix Studio. And so it's not necessarily a simple process. What I like to do for my clients is if they're on classic editor, sometimes they'll stay on classic editor just because it's better for them and we don't want to rebuild the whole website inside of Wix Studio. But for new clients that are coming in, I prefer to use Wix Studio just because I can build with it a bit faster and I like having full control on the design. So I'll build that from Wix Studio, build that website in Wix Studio from the beginning. Um, and there are times maybe when it would make sense to upgrade one site from the editor to studio. Maybe there's some kind of design layout or look that you want that you can't get in the classic editor, but you can get in Wix Studio. Um, and I've never really seen anyone go backwards from Wix Studio to classic editor or go, you know, switch, switch that way. I've only seen it go the other way. Um, but what I would say is it, is it doesn't always have to switch. If you like classic editor and Wix Studio is too overwhelming, then that's totally fine. You're going to get a, a little bit of a lower price on classic editor because you're not getting as many features. But if you want to upgrade to Wix Studio, then you have to rebuild the website and upgrade to the higher pricing and getting a few extra features that way. And so there's just a lot of things to consider. So hopefully this breakdown has been helpful showing you the different editors, showing you the pricing we went over before. So you can kind of see the differences here. And we don't have time to break down all of the differences between Wix Studio and Classic Editor. But to kind of keep it simple, Wix Studio does have features that are exclusive to Wix Studio that you won't find in Classic Editor. And that's why the price is a bit higher. And hopefully someday Wix comes out with a way to merge the two platforms. So if you want to upgrade to Wix Studio from Classic Editor, you can keep all the content and everything in your website and do it with some kind of button or upgrade that way. Um, that would be really nice. Or same thing, if you wanted to go from Wix Studio down to Classic Editor, it'd be nice if there was some way to do that and not have to rebuild the whole website from scratch. Um, but they really do act as two separate platforms. And so for right now, that's how it's set up. And that's the best way to think of it because otherwise you might not realize all the things that go into switching from one platform to another. But really it is a switch. It's a switch from one platform to another just like almost like it would be switching to a new website builder. Um, there, like I said, there is some crossover. So I always like to keep things within Wix from Wix to Wix, but, uh, or from Wix to Wix studio, but it's just important to know that they are kind of set up differently. So that's what I have for today's video. I hope this has been helpful. I tried to break it down as best as I could. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.